In the final part of our SMCR series, we're going to be looking at some food for thought or some observations that have occurred to us in light of the near final rules being published on the SMCR. Exactly what in practice is the SMCR going to mean for firms? What's really going to be changing? Day to day, who's going to be affected? Which stakeholders need to be involved? And what should firms be thinking about and doing now well ahead of implementation to make sure they're in as good a position as possible.